Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on the market. So we have some after hours action going on and with the headline and the kind that you can just fill in the blank where we have Trump, whether it's tariffs or whether it is investigation or whether it's Cohen or whatever it is, we have continuously seen these news events come out after hours. We have seen the price drop on low volume because after hours, you don't need a whole lot of volume to move that price. Then we see the bell ring and we see bulls by the dip with significant volume. So the drop that I was watching after hours today, and it was really the main leg down. At that point in time, there was, I was just looking at SPY and SPY traded 67 million shares during the regular trading day. And that drop down occurred on 1% of that volume, 600 something thousand shares. So again, it matters when the bell rings. That's the real volume. That's when we get the real information. And that's what I'm going to be looking for tomorrow. The pattern has been to buy the dip. It's going to keep working until it doesn't. And at this point, I can recall at least I don't know, it feels like half a dozen points in the last couple of months where this has happened. Maybe it's a little less than that. Maybe it's four times. But SPY pretty much hit the all-time high. Not pretty much. We did hit the all-time high in the S&P 500. But you could con still consider this a double top. So that's a rallying point for the bears. You know, maybe we can knock the price down and break some supports and we'll have this double top. That's really their last line of defense. So we're going to see now if this pullback gives us just a daily higher low, we hold the daily middle Bollinger Band, the bulls remain in full control, then we're just going to look for continuation into new all-time highs in the near-term future. If we see significant downside volume and a break of 280.16, that's when we say, okay, the bears have finally proven something. So 280.16 is that key level. And even then, we cannot zoom out or we have to zoom out to not lose perspective that this is just going to be healthy weekly consolidation. This weekly chart could pull back to the upper 270s and still be extremely strong. We haven't really had any real consolidation in the past two months, so keep that in mind as well. IWM, bull break. So that was the clear tight pattern. We saw the break at 168.71, significant follow through today. The biotech sector had a really good day today, healthcare with it. So big time bull break, and we're at all time highs now. Beautiful continuation. We've seen really two really nice tightening patterns. Equilibrium, the bull break led to all-time highs for a six-week, seven-week run. And then we saw another little equilibrium, essentially. And now we're seeing bull break in continuation. QQQ still tightening up. All-time high, low, lower high, higher low. And we're watching and saying, is this our new lower high? Key support is 178.12, and this might new, be our new key resistance of 181.44. It's continued to be the tech sector that has shown weakness. The financial sector has been holding up the S&P 500 a good bit the last three, four days. So QQQ is in a bit of an indecisive range, but it certainly still favors the bulls as we are in an uptrend on the weekly time frame. So we're just waiting patiently to see which uh, direction this tightening pattern breaks. VIX did see some upside today, closing up at the high of the day. So this looks like our, our higher low that we were looking for has now been formed. 1209 is that higher low. And we'll look for a bounce and a lower high compared to 1686 to stay in a daily tightening range as well. Weekly time frame, back testing all these moving averages. I haven't ever really gotten a lot of information from the VIX weekly time frame, to be honest. See a lot of big upper wicks every now and again, but really the daily charts, what I use mostly. XLF, so there's that strength. Rejecting from the upper Bollinger Band, but we tested that all-time high just about 28.56. We got up to 28.51, so we are right there. If we pull back, we'll look for a higher low, and we'll look to see a test of that all-time high. Bull Mac D cross as well. Weekly time frame, if we get that follow-through, we broke the lower highs, and that will be confirmation of the trend change with higher lows and higher high continuation, looking back up to a few resistance levels before the all-time high. So it all depends how we bounce and how the bulls buy the dip once the bell rings and if they buy the dip. If we see significant bear volume in an 80 million share day and a solid red 1.5% down, then we're going to say, all right, bears have started to prove something. So until then, the burden of proof is on the bears. We'll see. Have a good night.